Alright, welcome to this week's Gigmaster News and Updates. Got a couple of things going on this week. Got, I got a cool video coming up in this video, so stay tuned for that. Wait for it. But first thing, Equinox. You know I like to update everybody on my Equinox every week. I ran into this. I know y'all like y'all do. You know, the little rubber washers. You know, you want to keep, so so you can kind of keep it stiff like that. And you keep tightening, you tighten this up and tighten this up. What happens, that rubber washer wears down and you end up, the plastic here ends up rubbing against your plastic right here. And you keep tightening and it starts wearing the plastic down. You got to keep that right there. A little tiny space of rubber in there so that it's not rubbing that. Now, what, what we're going to do. Mine had got to the point I could tell it was starting to rub, and it wouldn't stay stiff. I mean, you could, most of the time you hear click, 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 click. You know, you can hear the rubber in there when you're moving it. Sometimes, though, it's not plastic, you don't hear it. So, I did a little repair job, and I'm going to show you right here. Check this video out right here. All right, for this week's Equinox update, I want to show you something. This, Like I said, this is a brand new machine. I haven't used it that too much. But as you can see, there's, you can't hardly see any rubber against the plastic right here between this and the shaft right here. And I keep tightening it and it's still kind of loose. And what's happened, I believe, is the rubber starting to wear down on it. And you actually can see the coil tabs actually starting to bend in just a tad right here. And that's probably gonna cause stress on it and end up breaking them. I wanna keep these tabs perfectly 90 degrees and it looks like they're starting to bend in. So what I'm gonna actually do is take this apart and see if we can't put a shim underneath the rubber to get the rubber back out so without rubbing plastic to plastic here. All right, let's take this thing apart and see what we can do. All right, we got it apart, and it's literally no rubber coming out beyond this plastic. And the plastic you can feel right here is actually starting to peel up a little bit. So the plastic to plastic in here is starting to press in, causing the tabs here to actually bend in too some. So that's not good for the tabs. We got to get a something behind this and bring this rubber back out a little bit i think well i'm gonna go ahead and try to pop these rubbers out of here there's one right there and as you can see i think it's starting to wear down all right we need to get a little bit of a shim i think in here bring this thing out just a millimeter out beyond that plastic so these tabs are straight up and down all right let me see what i can work on on that all right, I went up to a Home Depot and bought two of these little fiber washers. They're 5 16 of this uh, shaft right here on this is 5 16 it appears. So they fit perfect on here. They don't fit all the way out to the edge here. So you got to kind of line them up. But it did cause the rubber to come out, as you can see, just barely beyond there. And it does fit in here perfect now. Look at that. It goes right down in there now. So I'm going to straighten this up anyway. Yep. So I think I'm gonna try this to see how it works. It's uh, ah, yeah. So she's not. I don't have to force these things in here. Uh, before this thing was actually pulling these things in. So hopefully won't be doing that anymore. All right, let's get that. Let's put it in there, tighten up, and see how it feels. All right, before I even tighten it, I can feel the rubber against the plastic versus plastic to plastic already. I haven't even tightened it up yet. All right, we're gonna tighten it up now. All right, it is 100% better. As you can see, it's a little bit tighter on it. Before, it was just flopping back and forth. I hadn't even tightened them up, but you can hear the rubber in there hitting it versus plastic to plastic. All right, we'll give that a try. You can actually see a gap now. See the gap in there and the gap on that side? You, you, it was plastic to plastic before. Now we have a little gap where it's actually hitting the rubber versus plastic. All right, we'll give that a shot for a week. See how it does. All right, so far so good. It worked perfect. I could tell I had just a little tiny millimeter spacing with the rubber between the plastic and the um, other plastic and with the little tiny bit of rubber. And you can hear it, the rubber hitting versus plastic to plastic slipping. Um, I did make um, one of these out of a piece of, uh, it's like it's 1.1 millimeter out of a piece of plastic lid. It, it worked too, but it's a pain in the neck cutting this out, trying to get it right and all. Um, Detect Ed down in Australia, he does make a little package of, of some rubber washers, but Detect Ed, can you make us one out of carbon fiber just one millimeter thick? I'll buy one, I guarantee that. Anyway, I'm challenging you to take care of that. But anyway, it's, it's working right now. I use those ones from uh, Home Depot that goes behind it. It brings that rubber out just enough. Um, you want to try to always keep, you look at the coil tabs, 
and they should be straight all the time. When you start doing that, you see them starting to do that, and you're putting a lot of stress down here, and they're going to end up snapping. Uh, if you put too much in there, you try to stretch it out that way, they're going to snap on you. So you got to have those cool ears. When you tighten it down, it should be, they should be pretty straight. So keep an eye on that on your uh, coil. Um, find of the week. You know, I always take, talk about find of the week. I found an awesome dime. Probably the most dimes I ever found on a ring. Check it out right there. That is a lot of diamonds on that ring right there, buddy. I like it. That'll be an upcoming video at Mystery Beach where we're going tomorrow. But anyway, that is an awesome, awesome ring right there. Uh, probably one of the biggest, well, not the biggest diamond. Y'all know it's not the biggest diamond I ever found. That was a $21,000 diamond. But the number of diamonds and the size right there is really nice right there. Um, returns. The video two days ago was my favorite return, I think, of all of them. It's where I found the guy's um, grandfather's um, uh, college Air Force graduation ring that he just loved. Had, I could tell it was a real close-knit family. If you hadn't seen that video, check it out. That was one of my favorite returns right there. Um, I did uh, I did get, just this afternoon, I, I, I don't know if uh, that... Well, I haven't had a video on it yet. Cause it's one of the rings I returned. That same day, I found that ring for the uh, Air Force ring. I found another ring, and I mailed it back to them. I'm just now starting to get some uh, input from them. They sent me a picture with them holding it. They sent me a little video, so I'll be putting that together for another um, return on that. Um, all right. Uh, got a cool video coming up here. Um, Y'all remember my Silvertown giveaway, the one-ounce bar? Well, guess what? Silvertown is going to send another bigger bar, uh, at least five ounces, as far as I know. Could be different, but at least five ounces. And they're going to do a little, little commercial on their TV show. It's called The Coin Vault. And they're going to mention it that they're going to be sending their, um, uh, the guy that's been helping me, Brian, and, uh, that sent me the other stuff. He's coming down here on vacation anyway, and they're going to send him down here with that bar to give away. And they got a little thing coming out on TV. Check this video out Hello right here. folks. My name is Andy Abel. I am the host of The Coin Vault, the longest running coin television show in America. We've been uh, on air for over 33 years now. Uh, wanted to do something a little special today. Wanted to send a big thank you message to our good friend out there in the YouTube world, The Gig Master. Want to send a special message to The Gig Master himself and to his wonderful audience. Um, for the response that we have received here at the Coin Vault, which we are partners with and are under the same roof as Silvertown. If, re if you recall here recently, the Gig Master did a giveaway on a one ounce silver flag bar that we were able to send to him, along with some other goodies that he was kind enough to open up and, and unbox on air uh, on his YouTube channel. The response from that group, from uh, the people that follow the Gig Master has been overwhelming. So it was important for us here at the Coin Vault slash Silvertown to send out that thank you message. A little background on what we do here uh, at the Coin Vault. We have a uh, on-air broadcast, a live broadcast every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday from 7 p.m. Eastern Time to midnight Eastern Time. We're on DirecTV, we're on Dish Network, uh, we're on cable affiliates throughout the country. We're on the Roku device, we're on Facebook Live, we're on a YouTube channel. Uh, so there's a lot of different ways to catch the show. If you want to learn more about the Coin Vault, go to thecoinvault.com. Thecoinvault.com, it'll give you the channels and where you can pick us up at. Also, I encourage you to go to silvertown.com and see some of the great deals that we have on the Silvertown side of the business. We're all under one roof. We're here in rural Indiana. We're in a town of 4,500 people. Uh, my grandparents uh, started this business in the 1940s and it's still family owned to this day. And even our employees that are here with us, like a great uh, gentleman that uh, connected us with the, the gig master, our good buddy Brian, who is the head of the IT department and is the jack of all trades, if you will, here uh, under this roof. Brian was vacationing uh, last year, I believe it was, in the Virginia Beach area where he met up with the gig master. They struck up a friendship and that's how our relationship has developed to this point in time. We here at Silvertown slash The Coin Vault are going to send Brian back out east to meet back up with the Gig Master, and our plans are to send another gift package and uh, give the Gig Master the opportunity, if he chooses, 
to do another giveaway here in the very near future. So look forward to that. But the most important thing that I wanted to reach out to you all was to say thank you. The, the, the kind words, uh, the wonderful response that we've received from the Gig Masters audience has been unbelievable. So from uh, uh, on behalf of our entire staff here at Silvertown slash The Coin Vault, uh, I wanted to say thank, uh, thank you and look forward to talking to each and every one of you again in the near future. All right, is that cool or what? Man, I love it. Um, we're going to be giving that away probably within the next two months, so stay tuned. Keep your eye on. We'll be doing it on Tuesday morning. One of the Tuesday mornings, I'll be talking about it and telling about uh, doing it. Probably meet Brian on the beach one day, do a little hunting too. So, um, All right, a little bit of gig news. Y'all Y'all might not see John Boy in some future videos. Now, videos go out two weeks, so he might be in some, but he got COVID. John Boy got COVID. We were actually with him going to... Um, do a thing here a few days before he got it, and I've, I've been tested, and Gene got tested. We're all okay. John Boy's doing great. He's out cutting grass today, so, I mean, he's doing well. He did have the shot, which hopefully keeps him from getting it a little worse than he could get it, so um, he's doing well. So he'll be back on the street here in, in, a, in a week or so, so stay tuned for that. Um, we will be going out tomorrow, me and Gene to try to check out Mystery Beach again. We don't know if there's anything left out there or not, but we're going to check it out tomorrow. All right, let's talk about um, the giveaway this week. Y'all want to do a giveaway this week? Nobody guessed my exact numbers on uh, the uh, mount before I put the video out on my uh, Coinstar, but we're going to give away another T-shirt this week. How about that? It could be white, could be yellow, depending on what size y'all need. And y'all have to ask me the size. I should be able to get the size you want. Whoever wins, so we'll, we'll work on that when we do it. But this week's secret word, since Silvertown's looking out for us, let's use Silvertown again. So put Silvertown somewhere in the comments, and hopefully we'll get it. We're gonna get at least a five ounce bar of silver to give away. That's gonna be so cool. Anyway, let's use Silvertown word. I'll do a uh, uh, research next week. I'll do a giveaway, and I'll look for the word Silvertown in your comments down below. So make sure you put the comments down below. And we'll do a giveaway. All right. I think that's what wrap it up this week. Appreciate everybody coming along. Don't forget to click like, comment below, share. Subscribe to Gig Master. Never know what's happening next. Stay tuned.